officer. I've made arrangements for Dr. Coleridge to visit the patient in this room, Kenneth Castle. Okay? Yes. His name's not on the door. A standard police procedure when a patient's under arrest. Oh. You sure you want to go through with this, honey? Yeah. Kenneth Castle's behind that door. Name or no name, and I, I have to see him. Well, you can wait until tomorrow, you know. No, it can't, Bob. I need to do this right now. I have to straighten everything out. I have to put the real Kenneth where the shadow is. I have been living with this shadow too long. Daddy used to say, never be afraid to turn the light on. When I was a little girl learning not to be afraid of the dark, he'd say, don't hide under the covers. All you have to do is turn the light on. You can see it's only the curtains blowing. You see, no matter who tells me that Kenneth is a sick, sad, harmless person, part of me always is going to be frightened. Frightened that he's going to get away and come after me. And there's only one way I can get past that. Not breathing. Oh, God. My daughter is dead. She passed out before I could tell her. Someone left her in my squad car. There she is. If she ever finds out the truth, it's gonna kill her. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. You can't leave on one goodbye. Say no! A video of me naked on the internet. You can't change anything. Give us a chance. I don't want to live like this. Say <laughs> no! Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Roaches, rats, and mice living and growing in your walls, attic, kitchen, and bath. Around your kids, pets, and food. So stay tuned and find out how you can get our top selling pest control product for free. Introducing the new Ridex Pulse, a revolutionary simple plug in device that sends digital pulses through the wiring in your walls. Designed to help drive rats, mice, and roaches right out of your house. All you do is simply plug it in. A single Ridex Pulse is built to protect one level of a typical house, apartment, or condominium. It's that simple. That's why Ridex is our top selling pest control product with millions of units sold. You don't hear it or feel it, but it's working 24 hours a day. The best thing about Ridex Pulse is that you just plug it in. There's no refills or anything to replace. Thanks to Ridex Pulse, there may be no need to have strangers come into your home, spraying poison around your children, food, and pets. It saves me money because I don't have to buy all those chemicals and traps. I'll save at least $450 this year. Tired of spending hundreds of dollars every year getting rid of rats or roaches? Tired of having strangers coming into your home spraying poisons around your children, pets, and food? Now you can say no to chemicals with the Ridex Pulse plug-in pest deterrent. With patented digital technology, Ridex Pulse sold millions at over $50. But now you can help get rid of rats and roaches for only $29.95. But wait, during our chemical-free campaign, we'll take another $10 off. That's just $19.95. Our lowest price ever. And that's not all. Order now and we'll give you a second Red X Pulse absolutely free. That's right, free. And Red X Pulse comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. So remember to help get rid of rats and roaches, order Red X Pulse today. 
Call 1-800-478-4905. That's 1-800-478-4905. Call now. Hi, Mayor. Sorry I'm late. The councilman comes down the street and everybody volunteers solutions to the city's problems. Oh, you love it. <laughs> <laughs> right again, as usual, I do. No time for lunch today, so I took this opportunity to have a good old-fashioned icebox. Don't look! Hmm. How about that? Magnificent! <laughs> what is it? Pastrami, liverwurst, and Swiss coleslaw and rye with mustard. Do you want to have? Mm, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I skipped lunch today myself. Oh, uh, here. Here's the file from my oh. pal at the Department of Health. The whole story on Gilcrest Manor. Mm, let me see it. Uh, copies of everything, staff lists, uh, licenses and registration. Hey, what's this? How, what's... What? The uh, financial records. I specifically asked for... Somebody must have taken the financial records out. Well, honey, maybe they just forgot to include it. Ah, uh, they said this was the complete file. Oh, Frank, you don't mean somebody just lifted them. What else? They couldn't have made a mistake? I don't think so. My pal is about as thorough as they come. Damn it. Let's find out. Franco, if we're going to get the goods on Gilchrist Manor Nursing Home, we're going to need a lot more than lists and licenses. And brochures full of pretty pictures. I've been there, and believe me, it might have looked like this 20 years ago, but not today. Hi, Stu. Frank Ryan. Listen, I really appreciate the trouble you went to getting me that stuff on the nursing home. But uh, we've got a little problem. Yeah, uh, the, uh, there doesn't seem to be any financial records. Yeah, would you? Thanks. He's going to check in the original file. If uh, those papers are missing, it means someone over at, uh, someone somewhere anyway, decided that uh, they didn't want to made, pu made public the uh, financial records on Gilcrest Manor. Frank, it's got to be on file, isn't it? According to law, yeah. Yeah, Stu, uh, hi. Whoa, whoa, slow down, buddy. Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. I see. Missing. Uh, well, who has access to those files? Okay, I see. Uh, look, would you do that for me? Yeah. As quickly as you can. Yes, it is that important. Okay, thanks a lot, Stu. Yeah, okay. Right, I'll do that. We'll get to that, too. Okay, Stu, bye-bye. Phew, -bye. he's two feet off the floor. He counts paper clips, so when documents are missing. Did he say who could have taken it? Lots of people at the department have access to those files. It could have been anyone. Yeah, anyone who's interested in exploiting poor, older, defenseless people. Or who's uh, making contact with someone on the outside. That information can be reconstructed, Mayor, but it'll take a little time, and time favors anyone who may suspect we're interested in Gilcrest Manor. Meanwhile, what's happening to the residents of Gilcrest Manor? Yeah. I mean, in the case of Miss Monroe, it was a matter of life and death. The picture Pat drove with that poor old lady. Right, I know. Come on, Frank, he's still talking about it, how she was beyond help and they brought her to the hospital. So Miss Mills was luckier, but not by much. Well, uh, are you, have you talked with Miss Mills lately? Yeah, just this afternoon. Oh, she sounded so lonely and sad. She is absolutely terrified, and I'm afraid to tell her that help might be on the way because she trembles at the possible recriminations from... I don't know what to call the guys who run that place. Well, <clears throat> help is on the way. It may take a little while getting there, but we'll do it, Mary. Boy, I hope so. You can count on it. <sighs> See ya. How's your trousseau coming? <laughs> Are you kidding? I have not had one minute. <laughs> Well, don't you think you better find some time? You're getting married in a month. Oh, wow. <laughs> I hadn't thought of it that way. I mean, four or five weeks sounds forever, but a month is a month. It takes that long to get a suit clean these days. Well, no wonder Jack's going up the wall. Is he? Well, he, he is a little bit, I think. He, he's been single a long, long time. Sure. Right. But once the final step is taken, he'll be all right. You sound pretty sure. Yeah, well, he's making a lot of new adjustments every day. He bought himself a new set of earphones for the stereo. Oh, no. Do not laugh. That is some big breakthrough for Arturo Toscanini. <laughs> We're going to be okay, Francesca. Well, I want to say one last cautionary word, and then I'll never make another negative comment, may I? Uh-huh. 
It's out of love, you know that. I married Delia with the hope of changing her. I, I flattered myself that I could undo all the damage that had been done over the years and uh, change her into a happy, secure, self-confident person. I couldn't. Uh, Dee remains to this day what she'll always be and what she... Well, things are better now, only because I stopped laying my expectations on her. And all this time, the, the problem was mostly mine. And now, though, I've relaxed, and I'm trying to go with what we have rather than what I wish we had. I understand. You won't change, Jack. I'm really not planning to. I'm glad things are better between you and Dee. Because I love you a lot, Frank, and I want you to be happy. But the situation's really uncomparable. Sure. Yeah, I really am. I think marriage will change things for Jack. He'll feel more secure. And when he's secure, he's happy. Let's face it. You're the only one who knows how far we've come together, Jack and I. You know how little we tr trusted one another from the start and why. You also know how we got to love one another. I really do know her very well. Yes, I guess you do. So trust me to know my own heart, too, hmm? Man, I only hope that heart of yours is half as smart as that head. Oh, sure it is. <laughs> and if I have any problems, there is always one infallible expert I can come to for advice. Who's that? Mary Ryan. Oh! <laughs> she can make anything work. You devil. <laughs> No one told me you were coming. I had to come. I wanted to see the Kenneth Castle, who's just a laboratory technician at Riverside Hospital. I wanted to see for myself that you're real and that you may have hurt me. But you hurt yourself now, and you're never going to hurt me again. You see, I, I keep getting mixed up. I keep getting afraid of the side of Kenneth Castle that, that killed my father. Oh, no. No, forgive me, but, but you're a little confused. I, I killed Fate's father. Yes, I did. But I couldn't help it. And you won't hold that against me, will you? I knew you wouldn't. Kenneth. Well, why, why did they let you come and visit me? Is it because I'm hurt? No, I, I asked to see you. Oh, I'm so grateful that you asked, that, that you cared. But, but then you always did care, really, didn't you? Never the way that you wanted me oh, to. Oh, yes. Yes, you did. I know you did. Oh, you did so much. But you mustn't fret or worry about me. I know it looks a little serious now, but... But I'm getting better. And it, it, it was a clumsy, foolish thing to do to fall from the window that way. But, but they were after me. Yeah, I know. I was there. You were? Oh, oh, you mean in spirit. Yes, I know. You've always been with me that way. And what a consolation that is to me to, to have my mother always with me. Kenneth. Oh, mother. I wish you could have known faith. If you'd seen her, you'd know how much she reminds me of you. Isn't Faith a pretty name? I, I was going to bring her to the home to visit you, but I, I thought that she and I should really get to know each other first so, so that she wouldn't be too uncomfortable seeing you in, in those surroundings. But, but then so much happened, some, so many unfortunate accidents. That's why I couldn't visit you myself all this while. Do you understand? It, it, it was such a trying time for me. I fell in love, so much in love, and, and, and I wanted to share that with you, Mother. You see, finally I'd found someone so intelligent and so sunny and, and sensitive and, and patient. 
Oh, she, she reminded me of you in so many ways. It was, it was just like a dream. In one way, I think, perhaps, she was too much like you. She couldn't see how bad another person was for, and in just the way she wouldn't listen to me when I told her father was destroying her. Faith wouldn't listen either when I told her she was being destroyed. I, I tried everything to show her and to save her, but she was too much like you, mother. Her destroyer's name was... <laughs> That's funny. I can't think. I, I wonder what his name was. Oh, oh well. It, it doesn't matter anymore. Not anymore. He's, he's dead now anyway. Fa father's dead. So, I fell in love. But she wasn't worthy. And now I'm, I'm all alone again. And sad. So sad. Oh, Mother, please. I need you so much. Please forgive me for not seeing you and stay with me. We need each other so. Kenneth, Kenneth, please don't cry. I, I didn't want to hate him. I didn't want to hate him, Mother, but he did so many awful, awful things to you that I couldn't help doing what I did, and, and I'm not sorry. But, but now Faith will never, never love me, Mother. How can she love the, the person who killed him? How? How can she love the person who killed her father? Oh, her destroyer. What, what was his name? Oh. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry I behaved this way. You're so fragile, and I, I'm selfish to tell you all my troubles. I, I promise, I promise I'll never weaken again. I have to go now. Goodbye, Kenneth. You will come again, won't you? I'll, I'll try. Oh, please. I have no one else. I, I'm all alone now, and you're the only one who loves me. The, the only one. I'll, I'll see. Oh, let her. Well, let her visit me again. I promise I won't cry. Just, just let her visit me again. son apart ah! and luke faces the hitman who gave up everything you were drunk and my son died because of me watch general hospital weekdays on abc and weeknights at 10 on soapnet welcome to glad tv thanks skylar let's go to last night's highlights there's mom and dad cleaning up and there's the meatloaf yuck look what sometimes happens with the ordinary bag it flips oh bingo falls in mom was mad Mom should have used Glad Force Flex with a stretchable drawstring that grips the can and stays in place. Plus, it has the stretchable strength of Force Flex. That's all today for Glad TV. Don't get mad, get Glad! Hair is so dry, it's attracting the wrong kind of attention. Get Triple Nutrition from Garnier Fructis. It's moisture with essential nutrition. Three weightless oils, avocado, olive, and shea, work deep, transforming dry hair into shiny, silky, sensational hair. Proven to make hair three times stronger, three times healthier. Proven to work in just one use. Nutrition makes all the difference. Triple Nutrition from Garnier Fructis. It's proven to perform. Garnier, take care. People are talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up, so damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. 
Faith was pretty tired by the time we got her back to her room, so we just waited until she was settled down and then came on over here. You know, Faith's got to be brave to see him face to face like that. Oh, boy, she stood up to him pretty good, I think. Yeah. Think you need to buy some coffee? Oh, no. No, no, not for me. I want to have a beer, though. Kevin, get a beer. Beer for my man, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor Faith. You know we're lucky? I mean, do you know how lucky we are? Nah, in a lot of ways, I suppose. You know when we were first going out together? Yeah. And Bobby was always following us? <laughs> yeah, we used to wait outside the phone company for you, didn't we? And all the girls were green with envy. Well, I remember you guys talking about making detective. Right. Now, to you guys, making detective was more important than, let's say, getting elected to the presidency of the United States. Oh, absolutely. Well, there was a time I thought it was. <laughs> and uh, that's why we're lucky. Because uh, you made detective. Second grade. Oh, second grade. Still right. okay. <laughs> and also campaign manager. Right. And you, Frank Ryan, you are on the city council and you're on your way to Congress. Oh, uh, we hope. Yeah. Things are much better between us. And we're friends now. And you two are friends. Now you see why we're lucky? You uh, see? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, this is just like the old days. Three of us guys together. I'll never forget standing around outside that phone company. Oh, my. You used to keep us waiting all the time. Did you do that on purpose? I will never tell. Oh, you No, know. now, come on. Did you really? I, I really like I'm that. not going to answer that. Deal, ya, yeah, deal, ya. Yeah. Give me your answer, true. Did you keep us waiting? Dad, I think it's wonderful the way for spending time with Faith. Yeah. Only not too much time. Uh, I'm not leading her on, Mary. That's good. Wait, Ben. I wouldn't want her to think you care more than you do. No, she really does understand. In fact, she was the one who insisted that we be good friends and nothing more. Even when she was so sick? Somehow. I think there's a lot more strength in Faith than any of us may have suspected. She sure handled a tough one today. Do you really think she'll be getting out of the hospital soon? Yep. I'd like to ask her to be a bridesmaid. What do you think? Oh, that would be great. Yeah? You know, anything to make her feel there's still some fun yeah. ahead of her. She must be so depressed. Yeah. yeah. Really. I should get over there more. We're being invaded. Oh, oh this is a serious conversation. We need a soprano. I'm going to die this time. I can't afford a carriage. But you look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, too. I'm half crazy over the love of you. It won't be a stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage. But you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. You can't leave on one goodbye. Say no! A video of me naked on the internet. You can't change anything. Give us a chance. I don't want to live like this. <laughs> Say no! Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Love legendary CoverGirl Lash Blast? Made your look even bolder with Smoky Shadow Blast. Six shade duos plus a dual ended stick. It's the smoky eye made easy. Smoky Shadow Blast plus Lash Blast. From Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. Who could resist the call of America's number one puppy food brand? With DHA and essential nutrients also found in mother's milk. Purina Puppy Chow. I'm Ronnie from Jersey Shore, and keeping it real is what it's all about. That's why I use Xenadrin. I'm Sonia, and I got real Xenadrin results. I lost 35 pounds, and I've never felt this sexy. Get Xenadrin today. Get Xenadrin. Get results. Itchy, irritated skin? Not only does Cordae 12 hour advance cream relieve itch fast, but a clinical study shows its unique itch shield technology lasts longer than the leading cream for 12 hour protection. For long lasting protection, try Cordae. She's been a friend, the mother of your children, a soulmate. Isn't it time to let that special someone know exactly how you feel? Give her the gift she always wanted. Give her a polio vaccine. It's perfect. Whatever cause you're passionate about, give it as a gift at changingthepresent.org. The people you least suspect will betray you. On General Hospital, Damien Spinelli has seen it all. Spinelli? <gasps> Damien Spinelli is a man of action. The Jackal has solved many mysteries. <laughs> and now he tells all. It's true, I, I'm writing a novel. You're writing a book. 
It's the book everyone in Port Charles didn't want published. Mm. At least the names have been changed to protect the... Guilty. The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli. Available April 5th at abc.com and wherever books are sold. This is Erica, your average complicated 30-something in therapy with a not-so-average therapist, Dr. Tom. His specialty... Time travel therapy? She doesn't talk about her past, she relives it. Wait, where am I going? Literally. After two years, it's time for phase two. Let's do this! Now she's running from the law. Oh my god! Rescuing her family. Lay off my brother! And dealing with her own mortality. Nine years from now, something awful is going to happen. Am I dead? So now what? Good question. Check out the all-new season of the SoapNet original drama, Being Erica. All-new Wednesdays at 11, only on SoapNet. No, no more peanuts. Oh, just one more. Nobody can have just one more peanut. I'm gonna go get you a sandwich. <laughs> she uh, stood up very well today. Yeah, Faith really seemed loose and controlled about the whole thing. Yeah, I think she was. Yeah, I think that's marvelous. Very strong. You would have been proud of her, Roger. This is great. I've got to get back to the station. <laughs> Sorry, Rod. See you, Rod. Sure. So you think uh, she's stable then, Pat? Yeah, my guess is she's just going to improve a little bit every day. That's great. Thank you for the file. Oh. Hey, hey, that's my husband. Oh, well, look who's there, Mary Ryan. I am not only his sister, but I am practically a married woman. Frank, well, I'm going to go get you some coffee. Do that, would you? Okay. <laughs> oh, can I get you a beer? No, no thanks, Pat. Uh, why don't you go get one? I think I will. Dee, please, please, I've got to talk to you. Roger. Dee, please. <laughs> I just wish I could have gotten you some real information. Well, I think the fact that we know that the file was rifled is a great lead in itself. Right, and we'll find those financial reports. Mm -mm. Mm, right you are. Okay. Well, mm. back to Channel R. Okay, sweetheart. See you later. Bye-bye. What Bye the hell is Bye, going on here? I don't know what you're doing. Bye, Bye, Kevin. Bye, Kevin. Bye, I am totally confused, and I'm hurt. I mean, I walk in here, and I find you and Frank behaving like the perfect married couple. Now, what am I supposed to think? He is my to... husband. Look, look maybe, maybe I've made a whole mistake People are going to start looking at us. I need to know. I told you that I loved you, and I meant it. I mean, did you mean anything you said to me at all? We'll talk about it when we're alone, okay? If we ever are. Look, I needed you. You needed me. Now, I meant that. Now, it doesn't seem to me that you meant any of that anymore. Please, not now. When, then? With the baby and the campaign and the wedding? Mm -hmm. It's like you're surrounded by riots. This is my family. And when I gotta be here, I gotta be here. And I think you know that. Look, I understand We that. gotta be much more careful. They have a claim to you because of who they are. But I think I have a claim to Dee. At least I thought I did. But I don't think I do anymore. I don't know what you're asking. I'm asking that if you love me... Shh. Please, just go home. Right. All right. Mm. What was that all about? What? Roger uh, seemed upset. Oh, uh... He was upset about Faith. I should have thought he'd be pleased about all the good news lately. Well, he's not sure enough to relax. He's just really not sure. Well, uh, uh, what, uh, what's he expect you to do about it? I don't know. He just came over and started talking to me. Uh, were you able to say anything helpful? Hope so. Hey, Dee, come on. You were just feeling real happy, and now you're upset. Huh? Yeah, Faith's going to be all right. Yeah. Well, I hope so. You're real sweet to, to worry so much about her. I just wish I had the answer. About Faith. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.